So, Octavio Solutions. Was that all your idea? Whatever you say will be immortalized in your super successful Dirty 30 profile. Yep. The company, the device, the pitch, the expansion. Yep, yep, everything, yep. All Octavio. <laughs> Hey yo, this song is my jam. <laughs> this party's a little dead. Totally dead. Why don't you and I head to the V V I P section? <laughs> There's a V V I P section. Here. the more successful you are, the weirder stuff you're into. <laughs> no, Octavio, here in the VVIP section, you find refined recreations for the discerning entrepreneur. <sighs> Care to stick your face in the belcher? An elite courtesy from the angel investor. Only 11 people in the world have enjoyed mouth gas from the voucher. I'm not that into drugs. Especially from amphibians I don't recognize. Strange. And all this time I thought you were cool. I mean, you are cool, aren't you, Octavio? I don't know if the angel investor would deign to meet someone who isn't cool. <laughs> Bib, Bibbity, Bipster. <laughs> I'm so cool that I'm above peer pressure. Why? Because I have no peers. My coolness is without equal. That's how cool I am. Economically cool! Oh. Sheesh. I still wish Anu and Fran were here to see how cool I am. Everyone is wearing masks. Are you sure they aren't here already? Good point. Anu, Fran, come try the Belcher. It's for VVIPs. You did it. You actually did it. Full stabilization readings, a perfect fusion reaction. The congripulizer is fully functional. And the best part is you did it without using the potassium magnesium channels. Absolutely brilliant. You truly have a mind unlike any other. Simply put, You've changed science forever! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you. Dr. Dar, this is your discovery, your hard work. Would you like to do the honors and activate the congripulizer for its first trial run? It would be my honor. Heading to the observation room. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cage. <laughs> He's in the observation room. I believe there's been a mistake. This is actually a cage. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll get right on that. You're not doing anything. You put me in a cage. <laughs> Amazing! Dr. Dar figured it out. 
<laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Dr. Dar, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Where are you taking me? Stop applauding! It's patronizing! <coughs> Woo! This party is hot! I should take my shirt off. Or we could go to the VVVIP room. The VVVIP room? Welcome to the VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. Th this isn't a VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. This is a cage! <laughs> An exclusive cage. No! A cage cage! You tricked me! Don't think of it as tricked. In the business world, we... Well, <laughs> we also call it tricked. <sighs> Is this because I didn't do the belcher? It certainly didn't help your case. But no, no, you were always going to end up here, Octavio. Let me out! Let me out! Anyone? Please help me! He tricked me! I'm a super successful Dirty 30! Ock? Anu? Oh, yes. Right there. Put your data right there. Miss me? Not really. How did you follow me here? Inconsequential. I'm here now. It doesn't matter that you and your friends humiliated me in a sword. It doesn't matter that I was fired for playing Fulllander. If you have any hope of freeing your little friend, you must first defeat me. I'd prefer not to. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't ask. Now, battle! Gosh, God damn it, anyway. Come here. Select your ball lander. Brick. Brick versus Moe's. Ball lander. Fight. This is gonna hurt. Critical <laughs> hit. C -c critical Whoa! Get up! Super Bowl combo! Toasty! Toasty! 
I won. Wait. I won! <laughs> Who's the best Vaultlander competitor in the galaxy for any years? Eat it, you TD or trash! You can't have won. I was depending on this. I needed that W! Between you and me, pal, maybe it's time you got a new hobby. Maybe a new job with an employer that values you? There's food for thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Thanks. Maybe I'll, uh, catch you later? I hope not. Wow. Louis, wake up! I gotta yuck your yum. I apologize in advance. That I was happy. A smorgasbord of sensations. It was true bliss. I think our children have got themselves into trouble. We better go find them. Our children? In this metaphor, would I be the daddy? Ah, you are the daddy. I am the daddy, yes. What happened while I was diverted? Oh, I relived my suppressed life-defining trauma, and then witnessed my own personal evil and all of its ugliness and terror. Oh, and I also milked a spider ant. To make yogurt. From your tone, I surmise this is not how yogurt is typically made. Look, the people here are bad. Very bad. We gotta go find our two dum-dums before they get themselves killed. Come on! What's up? Octavio, you too. We've got to get out of here. We've got to think of something, some way to break out. Or we could wait here for Fran. She could break these cages, no problem. Come on, Octavio. Stop waiting around for other people to solve your problems and start trying to solve them yourself. Dumb. 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 So dumb. Okay. I admit, I partied a little hard, but that's to be expected. I made Forge's super successful Dirty 30. Oh my god. Don't you get it? You didn't make that stupid list. It's just one more scam you fell for because reality won't enter your thick skull. That's why you're sitting in a cage. You never think things through, Octavio. Oh. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone who also got trapped in a cage! Listen, I... There you idiots are! I leave you alone for ten minutes, and you both get caught by TDR? <laughs> you don't have to freeze. You're not a threat. You two, drop your weapons! Loud and fast-like! I mean, soft and slow-like! You... you always mess that up! No, now! Please, don't undermine me in front of the targets! Hey, I'm a threat! I may be stuck here, but not for long. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Give me a minute. My entire body is a weapon. Then drop it! As you wish. Oi! Is that a weapon? No. no. Drop it anyway! Drop it! That was exactly as easy as I expected it to be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Aww, cute. <laughs> Doesn't make a difference. You get over here and I'll put my fist through your... <laughs> the company that made your chair? I acquired it ages ago. And I can control it. Any way I please. And you can make the chair do fart noises. Hey, hey you want to talk to the guy in charge? I'm right here. <laughs> Here's how it is. Do as I say, or you, and obviously they, die. Now, the device, please. Oh, I won't be asking again, obviously. No. Taking your echo decks. Never! What's next? You gonna break Louie? Why would you even say that? No need. I think your robot friend will discover he left that little melding of the minds with some dirty data packets. Now that you mention it, some of the data I just exchanged was unscrupulous. It was all unprotected. They even used my... back port. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I'm riddled with STDs. Software transmitted diseases. I need a moment to run diagnostics and swap my system. Really swap my system. Chloe! <laughs> this is your plan? Lock us in cages and hurt our feelings and give us diseases and uh, steal our invention and what? Mass produce it? That's not gonna work. We own the patent. <laughs> okay. You can laugh, but our investor isn't going to be too happy about this. The mystery caller who jumped in to bail us out of sink or swim has our backs. We may not know who they are exactly, but they're somewhere around here. And anyone that could just drop a few billion on us out of the blue, quite obviously, has a lot of resources that should not be crossed. And I'm just now realizing it's you. It's you're, you're the angel investor. And there it is. Well, golly, sure would be nuts if I just fought myself a rich to hit translator and funded my own competition. <laughs> Yuck. That box is the angel investor? Wow. Here's what happens now. Anu, you're coming with me. Kill the others. Ah. Kill the himbo last. He means the most to her. No! You can't! Oh, good. Now this can be a lesson in never telling me what to do. Now y'all get to learn yourself something about bossing a big cowgirl around, you hear? Stupid app. I thought you might fix this. You, 
Remind me to terminate someone in UI later. Please, I... You have all the power here. I'm not negotiating. I'm not threatening. I'm asking. Please, don't do this. Oh. Your lack of shame is endearing. This is your sentimentality. Taxing, but endearing. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> never mind. No, I've just thought of a much better use for them. You've just earned yourselves front row seats to the hottest show in town. <laughs> Men, raise the curtain. It's showtime. I'm thrilled to see so many familiar faces here today. <laughs> Shut up! Wainwright, Reese, Torg, Karagawa Senior, Athena. Ah, oh, undoubtedly it was your communal sense of self-preservation that motivated you to be here this evening. Well, that and the fact that none of you would let the others get the competitive edge. But now, you ask yourselves, why am I here? And the answer is... A demonstration? <laughs> oh, I have gathered you together for a mercifully one-night-only opportunity. To merge with Tidior, or face your swift and utter annihilation. <laughs> See, since the beginning of civilization, uh, we have pioneered ways to hurt one another. From the stick to the stone, to the stick with a stone tied to the end of it, and onward throughout the ages, to the laser sploder, the rebel yell, and who can forget? The iconic face melter. Hmm? <laughs> Each one a rung on the ladder toward power, a ladder that we all race to climb. But thanks to the research efforts of Tidior and a few very gracious volunteers, <laughs> bring me the buffoon. That one. Ah. Uh. Hey, good to see ya! How's it going? Got a new power suit? Hey, Reese. Hey, Honu, it's your old boss. Let's uh, network after this. Synergize, talk through some new inbox. That's investment opportunities. Look, Samuel! Gotta tell you, not getting the best vibe from this being trapped on stage thing. Louis, wake up and kill her. Bad luck. He won't be firing a shot anytime soon. Hmm. I bested you, Anu. I've been one step ahead all along. I own you now, quite literally. So be a pet and cooperate. Arr. Now, you may be aware of what the less imaginative among you have been calling Green Iridium. You've also likely heard by now that my pursuit of it is the entire reason for my invasion of Atlas and this planet. That shard before you is a crystal of such extreme rarity that only a privileged few have ever viewed with their own eyes. Well, at least until Dr. Dar showcased it and its incredible healing properties to the entire planet while begging for money on sink or swim. Becking? Like, no. But what Dr. Dar did not know was that the shard that she and her team of imbeciles had acquired was, in fact, the missing half of a true new bear. A second shard? This seems, and stop me if I'm being pessimistic, but not great. They're a set? Did we know they came in a set? Are they worth more money in a set? Oh, <laughs> so much more. Hmm. And what the good doctor didn't show you, perhaps because she had no idea, was that the power of these shards can be wielded in more ways than one. Hmm? 
dangerous, yes? Don't worry, in line with her recent groundbreaking research with Iridium. Huh? Work that the world's biggest idiot discarded. Um, despite how loud that mustache is, Reese, you, you, you're on mute. As I was saying, Dr. Dar harnessed this most magnificent healing power with a simple, classic ray gun. Oh, we have her device here. The Hermes! Her name, not mine. Hmm. Hmm. Quaint, isn't it? Who'd have thought that the idiot CEO of Atlas would overlook and cancel such a quaint little ray gun? It's made from found materials. It's not quaint. It's eco-friendly. And in my opinion, that makes it really dope. Point taken. This dope device. This device harnesses, concentrates, and amplifies the shard's effects. And thanks to some experiments in our lab earlier, Dr. Dar helped us iterate on the idea a bit. Hmm. Now, as I begin this demonstration, it is vital that you keep this fact at the front of your minds. TDR is in possession of the only two extant anahadium shards in existence. and deny my esteemed competition the demonstration that I promised them? Meh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> As you are about to witness, the race to the top is over. I won! <laughs> now you have two choices. You can posture uselessly until I raise your company to the ground and strike your names from the history books, or B, accept defeat, merge your companies with TDR, keep your lives, and call me boss. Hmm? Go on. Call me boss. <laughs> Go to hell! Scathing. Who's the boss? Suck it, Granny. could have killed him, but he didn't give me what I wanted. Hmm. makes it simple to save a life. But the other makes killing on a massive scale as easy as breathing. See, with this simple process of rinse and repeat, you can, in fact, do far more than simply kill. You can obliterate even the most defiant spirit. Now, who's 
the boss. You're the boss. <laughs> and that is what I'm selling. Now forget about death. Death is so easy, so passe. I am marketing total, absolute submission. God, with these shards, I can take a city, a civilization, an entire planet, and bend it to its knees. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, Chief. What is this? The shard! Retreat the shard! Criminals. Plunderers. Murderers. Put her down! Holy F F Froyo <gasps> How other half an experiment. Let's turn Dr. Dar's healing device into a harming device. Hmm? Put Dr. Dar in the lab, put her idiot brother in a cell as leverage. As for the others, incinerate them. Uh, do you mean that literally? Yeah, or, or is it like a poetic license? I do not care. That is the point, you incompetent buffoons. They are not worth my consideration. Just kill them. Gah. 